Welcome to the GoCast, the best podcast in the universe. Get ready to hear Go, Jira, Money, Matt, Casey talk about the sexiest game and movie news out there. And now your host, Go the Movie God. Everything <laughs> matters. <laughs> And then he argued with me over us, Jet Stream Shrant and Sam Steam. We're like, I was like, uh, uh, the song is the only thing that matters. It's no, there will be blood. I'm like, it's not there will be blood. Yes, see, they just said the title. It's there will be blood. I'm like, that's not the fucking title. You're yelling you at me. Think it would be. You're yelling at me that well, that's the, the title because they said those words. What is the name of the theme then? The only thing that matters. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I kept saying that. You're like, no, it's it's there will be blood because they keep saying there should, will be it blood. It should be cool. There will be blood. All right, anyway. <laughs> Welcome to the Gorecast. This is episode Wait, 10. Wait, you haven't recorded this? <laughs> <laughs> you asshole! Welcome. God damn it. Episode 10. We oh, got up to 10. How long have you been recording that for? For like, maybe a minute. Oh, okay, son good. Of a bitch. <laughs> so, Rules of nature! nature. <laughs> That's... Uh, it's so welcome. Great song. Fuck you. This is episode 10. We've, we made it to double digits. Yeah. Somehow we're never hey. leaving. we're never we're never gonna have a single digit episode ever again. Oh no! Un- until forever. until we go the until we do, until we do in no. memoriam until we do a, until we do Gorecast Zero we revisit Gorecast we all, we Zero revisit the origins the animals. <laughs> Remember the time in episode two is just like a, it's a clip show. Yes. <laughs> remember that episode where he, he kept Honestly, inter- interrupting your freaking legend of Hercules? Remember, I, remember when he called you a cunt? That was great. <laughs> remember when Matt called himself a dumb butt? Uh, look, I'm here with you remember that time you <laughs> sold Gerard's item and he almost hit you over the head with a chair? Yeah, <laughs> I, sh- I should have done it. <laughs> he should have. Remember that one he still where... might. He might. He's just waiting for us to lower his gu- lower guard. Well, his guard? You. I'm going to lower his guard. Yeah, we're going to lower his he guard. He may get me. <laughs> 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 so welcome <laughs> when he's not expecting it he'll attack <laughs> so welcome hey America so ten. we don't got much to say so this is the end of the podcast <laughs> that's it that's it we sat around this chair for about an hour going what the fuck do we talk about and then ate Chinese food <laughs> <laughs> they ate Chinese food basically. we ate Chinese food looking confusedly my dog's fucking barking so I'm gonna annoying. punt that dog yeah I like your dog I, yeah, I love him. I love him so much. He ruins everything. <laughs> I love, I love him so much. He bounces so good. He doesn't know how to cook shit. <laughs> I love my dog. <laughs> I love my dog so much. He bounces so good and gets great distance. I mean, what? <laughs> the dog is yeah. awesome. Just fucking field goal. That's <laughs> me. That's so, me. So we yeah. got shaped like a field, like wait, a football. What do you wait, expect? We we got a few things to talk about. Oh jeez. Uh, oh jeez. Uh, oh well, Jesus. I'm going to start off with probably my yeah. favorite thing that's been announced, Bear Simulator. Uh, bear Simulator. No, Goat Simulator is better than that. Okay. No, I'm bears sorry. are better. No, you have... No. Okay. Goat Simulator. A guy raised $38,000 to make a game that is like Skyrim, except you have a bear as a main character, which is genius. Uh, I didn't see the trailer, though, so I can't say if it is better, but uh, it looks pretty good. Just from the name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just from the yeah. name, it looks pretty good. Although you could just oh, play Skyrim simulator. as a bear with a mod. You could just do that. You know, it's not the same. Is it? Is it like just a? F- like you're always hanging around the forest, or is it like other villages? Uh, I think it's. I think it's just forest, and you just. I don't know. Actually, I haven't well, seen the track. Because I wouldn't like walking to a place just with rules of nature <laughs> playing <laughs> <laughs> as I murder a family. Walk into a tavern. That's what. Uh, there's other bears. That's there. what. Uh, we're gonna do that, man. Rules of nature with Goat Simulator. Yeah. Rules of nature as we blow up a gas station. <laughs> for, people that, for people that might not know, Rules of Nature is a song from what Metal Gear Rising, right? Yeah. Yes, it plays during Metal Gear Ray, right? Like, uh, any Metal Gear. Ah, uh, okay. Well, no, but there was only like one Metal Gear, I think, in there. Ray, there's, two, there's two Ray fights, and then there's that uh, boss. Oh. There's the boss in the second stage right before you find uh, stereotypical immigrant George. Oh yes, that's racist. Like all them American presidents. <laughs> go ninja, go ninja, go. <laughs> ninja, go ninja, go. My name's like George, like Georgetown. Apparently he. Ryan's like, holy shit, kid! You better become a child soldier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently, uh, Vanilla Ice yeah, needs numbers. money because he's doing the freaking macaroni and cheese commercials again. Yeah, yeah. buddy. I don't know how he transitioned to that. Oh, you want to know what he transitioned from? Because we. You want to know what he did that. after he did uh this real life and his rap and 
quote quote rap, I should say. Uh, he now has an he's now an interior decorator. I am not making that up. We still talk about. Uh, Van- rules of Vanilla Ice. Right? Vanilla Ice. Okay. He is an interior decorator now. I said people hire him to make their house look nice. Okay. That's it's like Ozzy Osbourne's health article in uh, London Times. Well, that was Why? jumping off very hard, but I agree. I want that to happen, though. I want Vanilla Ice to make Oh, I thought you meant Ozzy yeah, Osbourne's health really article. Yeah, cool and all, but, you know, it just needs a little bit of ice. <laughs> and he, he's actually... Transitions the room's beautiful. He's Elza for the pros. <laughs> Yo, he didn't let this shit go. You just need to let shit go. Just let, him, let it go, bitch. Yeah, just, calls, <laughs> just calls it Fred Durst to do all the uh, <laughs> all the renovating. Uh, yeah, when you got a bunch of white people knowing the fuck at you, let it go. <laughs> no, but likes se- everyone. No, but seriously, Ozzy Osbourne has a health article in one of the London newspapers. Drugs are good for As if people know. ask Ozzy Osbourne health questions and he gives a serious answer. That dude mm-hmm. should be on, like, should be giving away. There was something. It was, I think it was alive. two years ago. A uh, bunch of doctors were taking blood and running tests on his blood. For and the honest reason they gave was no one should have taken the amount of drugs he had and survived. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so they that. took his. They took blood to test it to figure out how the hell he is still alive. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne is a that. science mystery. <laughs> I am fine with these things, though. <laughs> anyway, what is on our list today? Oh, uh, uh, sorry, I was watching Bear. Simulator. Oh, trailer. which is during the podcast. <laughs> yeah. And ignoring us, asshole. Yeah, well, you're talking about you're in a rules mood of nature. <laughs> <laughs> nature. Uh, so. And, uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. Better get attack on atta- uh, rules of nature. Oh, God. That blending of. <laughs> no, I won't. No, I'm kidding. Actually, someone already did that. Uh, uh, anyway. Okay. <laughs> cool. So, Bear Simulator 2014. I don't know when that comes out, but uh, <laughs> it was worth a mention. I want this game, but we know nothing about it or when it comes out. I all we know is it's bears, it's bears in Skyrim. <laughs> That's all we know. I'm, I'm pretty that. sure. I want that too. I won't. I'm not. I'm not like. I, I'm bugging it. I like it. I, I like it. It looks good. I'm watching it right now. It looks next gen. It uh, looks next, next gen. gen. <laughs> Next gen. Now, <laughs> this spring, two new Call of Duties. Now, this this summer. Bear fucking simulator. <laughs> Fuck all your FPS RTS bullshit faggotry and your fucking dogs. I get you be a bear. <laughs> no, that that's gonna fucking be, bear. That's gonna be uh, the uh, Steam's first like television commercial. You like Call of Duty? Well, fuck that, cause we got bear and goat simulators. <laughs> start off, start your Call of Duty game with a national monument being blown up. Start off the bear simulator by wrestling a rugged man. It's a bear. <laughs> yeah. What kind of gun does a bear use? Bears don't use guns; they use claws. <laughs> <laughs> what guns do a bear use? It doesn't use bear. It doesn't use guns because it just kills you with its fucking claws. Go home and crack open a bear. It's <laughs> gonna. Wait, bears! <laughs> crack open a bear with crack bear grills! Crack, crack open, open a bear, bear with bear grills! Go home and crack open a bear! Beat your, <laughs> beat your bear wife! <laughs> Get locked away for seven to ten years for domestic bear, bear violence. <laughs> for all you chaps out there who like other cute shit, Teddy mode! <laughs> Teddy mode! Does the same exact thing, but you're senpai! No, you murder It's the senpai. same thing, but it's quiet as fuck! Kawhi as fuck. <laughs> this bear simulator is kawaii as fuck. It's super moe. Kawhi in the street, senpai in the sheets, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Collect materials to finish fuck. quests and then kill the quester. <laughs> in all that, lots of fucking... He wants you to bring back the ring of Gondor. Eat his face. <laughs> you don't understand English, you're a bear. <laughs> 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 and and meanwhile, Goat Simulator has a tall goat, which is I a giraffe. Th- Any cool is Bear Simulator. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. bear, bear Simulator. I can't wait. <laughs> bear Simulator. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. It, it's, it's God the, damn it. uh, can this tagline please be "Crack open a bear"? <laughs> crack open a bear. <laughs> simulator. What are you looking for? I'm looking for the cap. Shut up. Ignore me. I said ignore me. Just, I Honestly, ignore I don't. I, I'm, I'm I'm depressed to say I don't think it's gonna live up to our hype. But I'm watching right now. This part where a bear collects mushrooms. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna trip so hard. 
<laughs> Dude, ever want to be a bear no, seeing no, shit there? No, no, he's actually getting mushrooms to give to humans so they have a psychedelic moment while he tears. <laughs> <laughs> you, have to, you have to confuse people. No, you give them, them the mushrooms. mushrooms. So you can break into no, the house object and of, steal their The object of the game is you have to give the people mushrooms to make them think they're bears too. <laughs> what's better? What's the best part of being, being a bear? <laughs> Drugging their parents so you can steal their babies and eat it in the night. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, okay. <laughs> so, Bear Simulator gave us way more content than I thought. Uh, I can't wait for it. Bear Simulator. So, uh, any more bear things? Oh, give us a couple of minutes. We'll come up uh, with a lot go more. Well, Goat Simulator comes out in a week. So, for you, it does. I, I play it Saturday. Oh, he gets early access. Yeah, because I pre-ordered it, so ha. Huh? Early access to Goat Simulator. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. You, do you get to play the beta? <laughs> Pre-order pre content for... There's, they <laughs> have yeah, achieve, one of the achievements in there is my, you get a Michael Bay achievement for making an explosion. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says, just Michael Bay, just Michael Bay's name appears what, on the screen. Well, now it's better than Bear Simulator. Yeah, it was Michael Bay. You gotta, you can control a jetpack goat. You know, God there's, sakes. there's so many simulator games I would love to play for the, for the channel. Like there's a wood cutting simulator. That's Street so cleaner simulator, Roomba simulator. Wood Roomba. cutting simulator is one of the glitchiest games ever. There's a part where if you just walk forward, you'll fall right into the yeah in, into the world. So you just see everything, and you're just under the world, so you can see all the trees and stuff. Oh my it, god, it's really it's um, good. I watched my friend stream uh, for a while. It was Train Simulator. Yeah. I've never seen so I've never seen a more confused I actually sat there for like ten minutes watching his stream and just being what like, the Hey fuck man, are you, are, are you playing the game? He's like, Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how to start this fucking train. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, okay. I'm trying to figure out how to start the train. Where the oh, hell's the it. fucking go button? I want a I want a game, but game won't let me hit. <laughs> You just hit, you hit the button and all of a sudden just takes off like a bull train to like a hospital. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> just a, a children's hospital. Oh god, why did the train go? I feel like that should be like an alternate mode to train simulators that like if you're really good at fucking up all the time, it should give you like a reward mode for fucking up all the time. Like they just put like like orphanages and like supermarkets and Orphanages, I had a orphanages, and you would at gas stations all near them. I had a system. And you would just have to like derail yourself. Uh, I had a system like that oh. in Roller Coaster Tycoon. One of my rides, I it was like, oh, you go in and then buy whatever, but I wouldn't like that. I, I, I one of the times I like had a problem with one of the rides. I'm like, you know what? Let's just deal with it. So they go up on one of the roller coasters and then like Mach one launch off the roller coaster in the carts and fly off the mat. And I'm just sitting there like, you know what, it's fine, whoever's next door, all the death is their problem. <laughs> it's just like you, you look a mile away and there's like some parking lot with just bodies piling up in it. Nice. And yet for some reason, as the more people died, the longer the line got. It became oh, the fucking really? suicide machine from Futurama, just everyone lined up to die. <laughs> <laughs> suicide booth, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. oh my god, this is so horrible, but I can't stop because I'm making so much money off it. You're killing more people than Superman there, and Man of Steel. There needs to be a humble bum bundle. I humble bumble. 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 For simulator games. Yeah, there, there, there was been a couple. There was, oh, I think, the last one before the, uh, no, yeah, two yeah. ago. Yeah, they had wood cutting simulator. I didn't it had it, train, actually. farm, yeah, and right, had a bunch I, of them. I, I, the, there's only two humble bundles I ever pay attention to, and that was the Dead Space one and the Rhythm Games one. Yeah. Yeah, I just keep looking at Rhythm Games. I'm like, why well, won't it update? I want new games. There's only a day and a half left. Mm -hmm. Let me see new games. Yeah. I was checking it right before the, uh, we started recording. I'm like, god damn it, it's still the same six games. Yeah. So, anything interesting else coming out? Uh, Actually, today, Diablo 3's uh, Reaper of yeah. Souls came out. Yeah, I well, wish I had something to tell you guys about it, other than the fact that I pre-ordered it, and I didn't fucking play it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I may put half an hour That's why you want to leave early. You don't want to go, oh, i got to get up early. You want to go, I'm going to go home and play any, Reaper of Souls. Any amount I put into that game, I'm going to just make myself... Yeah, you, you know it's a lot. You're going to go home, you're going to play Reaper of Souls, and I'll get a call at 6 in the morning. God damn you, what did I do? I didn't sleep at all last night. Well, that's your fucking fault, because you decided to stay up all night playing Diablo 3. <laughs> I got this really sweet sword, though. No, I'm playing as... Too gonna bad I'm going to get fired today. <laughs> <laughs> they can't fire me in hey good, hey, good news. I got a lot more time to play the game now. 
<laughs> Sad part is I'm living on the street. But it's okay because I'll just play in Starbucks. It's okay because there will be blood. <laughs> there will because be there blood. I'm not even close. I know. But he says that though. I can't sing like that. Dude. You Apparently, can't sing. You transitioned to it, but I was going to talk about what comes out this week. Oh, okay. Uh, I did do a good transition. No, that was okay. Perfect. That was Perfect. just Perfect. random. No, I, Diablo 3. Diablo 3 came out. Reaper of Souls. Reaper of Souls. It looks really good. <laughs> it looks I, really good. I like how on uh, on consoles it's DLC and on computers it's uh, expansion pack. Oh, is it actually out on console? No. No, no, no it's, it's okay. going to be. It yeah, may be. <laughs> Maybe. No one knows what's going on with Diablo 3 anymore. I, I feel like we should just have a, like, a LAN party and we should just play Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls and just stream it. I don't think yeah. so. Well, I don't know. Okay, last no, I last time I I'll played with you, over. you were taking all the shit. Like, it was you, me, Mike, and someone else. And you were taking everything. It was when we were at school. Oh, when we were playing Diablo 2. Yeah, and um, yeah, none of three. us got anything because the set, you would stand, we would be attacking, you would stand back, you were doing the necromancer, you have your minions attack, well, and then pick quick. up all the shit so yeah. we go, hey, let's get money. There's no money. Let's get items. Gotta be quick. Well, we have all this yeah. horrible crap. Get it, get it Gotta be quick. quick. They wouldn't even share it. He just sell it, and we're like, I, after like five minutes, we just said fuck this and left. Diablo serious shit, man. Yeah, <laughs> you need to be quick. I don't care what you say. Everything <laughs> is not awesome when you're part of a team. <laughs> <laughs> everything <laughs> is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'll be so good. Uh, I have yet to see it actually. Really? Yeah. Well, when it comes out in Blu-ray, we're all gonna watch it. Which one? Uh, the Lego movie. Oh yeah, so good. Um. Darkness. <laughs> no <I'm a> parents. <laughs> so being kind of rich kind of makes it a bit better. <laughs> uh, but, uh, well, okay. Diablo three came out. That's cool. We uh, uh, burial. Uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, Bioshock Infinite Burial. Let's see. Came out episode two. Uh, we didn't play that. Didn't get around to it. I, I'll really play it when I go home. It's very stealth based, though. Yeah, I heard it's really stealth based and actually much better than the first episode. Which but they good. said it, it's stealth based more or less because Elizabeth can't take a punch like a man. <laughs> yeah, what a bitch! Like two yeah. hits and she's dead. So it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, right. And apparently, one of the plasmids you're holding like a fucking doll's head. It's creepy as hell. That's kind Ooh. of radical, actually. No, it's creepy as hell when you have a severed doll's head just staring at you. It's like, okay. Not good. This is real quick. Well, it's like Dishonored, where you have to hold a heart just to see where all the hidden shit is. Yeah, but how many times do you have to hold the heart? I mean, look at, for, look at Blood Dragon. Dragon. It's just like Blood Dragon, it was yeah, collect all the hearts. Yeah, you rip hearts out of people and throw it out a fucking dragon. Blood dragon. That, was still that shoots lasers so from its eyes. We're playing, like, that's what... No, you don't. You said you didn't have it downloaded. Such so. sick. No, I didn't. Okay. I, I have it downloaded, if anything. Yeah, I have it downloaded. You all probably do. Good of game. Course. You guys probably do. Yeah, all I All of you it. should have it downloaded. Everybody should have Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. Yep. You know what? That actually goes to our next thing, because that's really all that comes out, right? Uh, uh, there's that. There's uh, Fez for Vita and PS4. Okay. Uh, there was that de PS4 that... What was that? That Destiny's or... Destitution for Destitution. what was that? Oh, yeah. Talk about that. Uh, Desolation of Smell. Yeah, Desolation of Smell came out again a while ago. It, it did well. It did that's not. I, I will say as much uh, as I, I don't like want to talk about it. As much no. as I like that movie, fuck that movie because of that movie. Uh, no Sherlock until 2016. So fuck that. Why? Okay. Because uh, Cumberbatch. Well, we, no, because <laughs> Freeman and uh, Cumberbach are both uh, Cumberbach. too busy with their schedule, so they won't be able to film anything till the end of next year. Is it Cumberbach or is it Cumberbatch? It's Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch, Cumberbatch. <laughs> All I know is he, he did an epic uh, photo bomb of you two. Of us two? Of you two. You us two? You're an asshole. <laughs> you're in an extra, yeah. you're in an extra asshole that. mood today. <laughs> it was like freaking the last Ratchet and Clank video. Just Dece God damn it. Deception 4, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. There you go. What happened to the other three? I never heard of the series. All right. I guess not. All right. <clears throat> I never heard of this. Okay, it's a strategy game. Tecmo. Oh, it's uh, the Dynasty Warriors guy. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, and uh, Dynasty Warriors came out. Cool. What eight? What is it like? Eight empires eight, extreme. Eight, eight part three or something. Uh, it's like it's probably like it's, it's like probably cow. like Dynasty Warriors Eight Empires Extreme. Too. You play as Cow Cow or <laughs> Cow Cow. <laughs> no, it's Lu Bu. It's Lu Bu, and you just hit the X button repeatedly. Is there a character everything. named Shingping? Probably. 
Shingping? I know there's one named Cow Pie. <laughs> cow Pie? Yeah. C-P-O. Hung la- Hung Low. Hung it's low. technically it's Hung Lao, but it, <laughs> Hung Low is better. It's hung Low. <laughs> is there a guy named <laughs> Shitty Walk? Shitty Walk. <laughs> Would you like some shitty chicken? <laughs> I'm sorry, we oh, only no, have we only have Mongolian walk. beef because the Mongolians have taken over. <laughs> the Mongolian beef is horrible, but don't let them hear that. They will murder you. <laughs> Oh, I love Macaulay and beef. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> it's really shitty. <laughs> it's from South Park game. Uh, no, that's not South Park. That was from the show. That was straight out of the show. Well, yeah, but it's also in the game. It was in the game, uh, but it was straight out of the show. Okay. Point taken. Uh, so there you go. Uh, that's what comes out. What movies come out? Noah comes out. Friggin' uh, the Great Flood of Oyster Bay. <laughs> yeah, that's where it was filmed. I, I know that now. Uh... <laughs> We all know this now. Okay. Uh, Grand Budapest. Yeah, Grand, Grand Budapest Hotel comes out wide, I think. It's been out for a little while, but... It well, it's select the theaters. It's wide. nationwide this week. Uh, Captain America is next week, next or is week, it yeah. Friday? Yeah, it's no, it's next week. week. Yeah, they would have released that the same day as Noah. Yeah, they would. No, they would Well, they didn't, so... Oh, please. God versus Russia versus America. Who do you think? America versus God. There's a... Uh-oh. <laughs> America well, versus ultimate competition. America versus God, aka a daily American, li- the Americans' daily life. Like everything we do is against <laughs> God. But I think Captain America comes out. Actually, I think it came out everywhere else this Friday that passed by. That's yeah. why there's reviews right now. Which of course they get it first. You know, not America. Yeah. America's <laughs> the last one to see Captain America. Yeah. Yeah. It's bullshit. What is it called over there? Because I know the first movie wasn't called Captain America in any other country. It was just called the first Avenger. It's called Captain Senpai. <laughs> Captain, Captain, Captain Senpai. Where you are, it's Captain Senpai. Ca- Captain Soldier. I, I Captain know Soldier. in Canada, it's like there's a whole explanation. Like the Winter Soldier's arm cannot be destroyed because it's made of healthcare and nothing could beat Canadian healthcare. So <laughs> Winter Soldier just punches the ground and everyone in the world dies. <laughs> and then magically gets healed. No, no one beats Vibranium. Uh, uh, Canadian healthcare. <laughs> He just uh, punches the ground, everyone dies, then it's instantly revived. And it's just, that's the whole movie of him just trolling, it, just fucking, uh, trolling everyone. Just fine. fucking. Just fucking everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Noah comes out. I'm looking forward to it. Winter Soldier yeah. and his dragon dildos. <laughs> <laughs> that's his arm, it's just one giant dragon it's dildo. Big, <laughs> it's a oh big boy. dragon vagina. Uh, okay. Enjoy. Well, isn't that what, uh, what's his name has? Uh, what the fuck's that thing? Uh, Ego Raptor? He got someone sent him a a dragon. Was it a dragon flashlight? Someone sent him a dragon <laughs> flashlight. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> I actually heard about that. You're all looking at me like, what are you talking about? I was like, no. He put it on his Twitter, and you can see in the background of some of his videos. Yeah. I was just like, oh, what the fuck is that thing? I don't hey. even know. What so it's always like it's a dragon flashlight. Like I don't know what. What was that? I, I just wanted to see. I watched the. Just on that note, I watched uh, the best two best friends. Yeah, and it, people have sent them like katanas and battle axes, what like fuck? legit battle axe. Like they take it out and one one of them stabs himself in the hand accidentally, and it's like, oh god, I'm actually bleeding. This is a real weapon. <laughs> like the first video, someone sent them a fire axe, and they're like frantic, like don't send us things. We're gonna get arrested. <laughs> don't send us weapons. <laughs> Right, it's like we can't have this shit. Please stop. Unlike unlike me, I'm just like, oh, send all the weapons you want. Just make sure it's not an AK. Right. <laughs> if it's Don't not an AK, guns. as long as it's not explosive or an AK, I'm fine with it. When it becomes guns, it become problem. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not a, like I said. It's not a problem unless it's an AK. Automa- or I should say, unless it's an automatic weapon. Automatic weapons are illegal. But if it's not automatic, I'll fucking take it. Hey. Yay! Yay! Anyway, so, so uh. Also, also Rift Tracks. Oh, what, what about Rift Yes! Tracks? Rift Tracks, the Super Mario Bros. Rift Tracks just came out. Oh, okay. Better what? yet, they just announced a miniseries. Yeah, they're gonna have a yep. show, National right? Geographic, yeah. yeah. And yep. it's gonna be like a bunch of that stuff, like Honey Badger and stuff like that. Yep. Oh, I cool. can't wait, but this the Super Mario thing just had to be said first. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looks so good. Just, so, yeah, yeah just go on their support, website. You can get all that stuff. For those who support, you know, Mystery Science Theater 2000 or now Rift Tracks, Please go to RoofTracks.com and support those motherfuckers. They're awesome. Don't even right. need the support. Them. Just buy it. You don't need the support. They're already <laughs> down in history. I, I always support. I, I never like. I never like burn or like. I never try to like illegally download like any of their um, uh, Rift tracks. I always buy everything I get yeah. from that. Yeah. They're not I'm, that expensive. No, it's like it's it's, it's ten $4. bucks maybe. It's four dollars for an audio tr- yeah. for an audio riff. 
In which case, in the videos, the in the videos are yeah. like ten bucks. So it's well, like, actually, why not? I recommend for shitty movies like Super Mario Brothers, uh, just just rip the movie. Just go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to give you the gore seal of a No, no, better yet. Go ahead. Better yet. For they movies like Super Mario. Video, right? <laughs> no, for Super Mario. Just don't. <laughs> yeah, just no, listen don't to it. No, not even. Don't watch it. Nothing. Just, just fucking stay away from it. Yeah, right. If no, you like the movie, it. you got a problem. The enemies look like fucking Beetlejuice at the end of Beetlejuice. <laughs> Yoshi. Oh, that's Yoshi's that's an, the best part. That's another thing we haven't addressed. That's oh, actually uh, in the works right now. Well, yeah. Juice too. Yeah, Juice Michael yeah. Keaton and uh, Michael Keaton's on board, and so <laughs> is uh, uh, what's his Tim Burton. Both of them are on board and working on the script. So. Tim Burton will do anything. <laughs> like, him, him and him and uh, Guillermo del Toro would do anything. Yeah, but Del Toro makes it always look awesome. Yeah, yeah, at least Johnny like, Depp. You want to see this. fucking robots? Oh, he'll robots. be in it. I just don't want Johnny Depp to be anywhere near this movie. I just want him. I want Transcendence to be good, is what I want. Yeah, it looks good. It, it looks, looks like right. Lawnmower Man, and I'm all about it. <laughs> oh, oh fuck. Like Lawnmower Man. Right? It looks like Lawnmower Man. I'm like, oh, this is going to be fucking sick. Lawnmower Man with fucking Johnny Depp? Oh, yeah. Lawnmower Depp. <laughs> no more debt. I need my. Lawn. I need more lawnmower. Not even. Debt. Not even. A, that's not even a movie. Just lawnmower debt. Oh, is that a movie? No, just take the lawnmower and fucking kill Johnny Depp with it. <laughs> See, too, mate. What actor would you think if they picked any other actor aside from Johnny Depp? Because he could be creepy. So if they picked an actor just just to be the part of Transcendence that Johnny Depp is, what actor do you think would ruin it? Like, would just make the most non-threatening? Ashton Kutcher. Ashton Kutcher. What do you think? <laughs> Uh, Pee Wee Herman. Pee Wee Herman. Pee Wee Herman. I want to say John C. Riley. <laughs> yes. Yes. John C. Riley. Yes. Oh great! Dr. Yes. Steve Rule is uploaded yes. to the no, universe. No, not even John C. Riley. It has to be Doctor Steve Rule. It has to be Steve Rule. Okay. He can't. It can't be him. It has to be his character. Yeah, but even uh, then, just like maybe you're not a bad internet machine god guy, but this does not make you bad internet machine god uh, guy. Gar- Guardians of the Galaxy. It's not about any of Thank the heroes. You. It's about Dr. Steve right, Rule saving the universe. That's Guardians of the Galaxy. It's No, it's uh, it's Dr. Steve Rule and Professor Snape saving the universe. I want to be a part of that. I want to be everything a part of that. I love your life. Like, <laughs> You're like, yeah, I don't get all this, but okay. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Actually, I also, that I recent, I just remembered, uh, Pee Wee Herman, has, they're working on a new movie. With, oh, great. With Judd Apopo. Uh, oh, uh, Apopo. Apopo, yeah. Oh, jerk theaters. With him, uh, jerk theaters. Jerk theaters. With him as, like, the producer. I'm like, oh, God, why? <laughs> he jerks into his own movie. <laughs> Basically. Hey, hey, dude, hey. That's how it starts. Like, oh god, I'm supposed to film a movie. I'm sorry, I was watching my own. I mean, what? <laughs> I was kind of jerking off. Anyway, <laughs> follow me into my chair that speaks to me that I never <laughs> go for too frequently and begs me not to. Yeah, <laughs> zoom into my nostril. Mm. <laughs> Everyone, come to me. Come with me to my house. Herman jerking off. <laughs> Everyone, come to my house with me and look at all the bright colors and things that talk to me. I promise, I'm not on LSD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. I can't do anything. I'm a Pee Wee symbiote. I'm a symbiote. <laughs> symbiote. He's you're not a clone. He's just he's just a part of him. He's just feeding off him. <laughs> you're like the. <laughs> so are you like the Spider Man symbiote? Or yeah. The yeah Chris, Chris symbiote. takes off the shirt and it's like it's one of the quick transformations. The shirt comes off and Pee Wee Herman's just sitting there. Dear God. <laughs> I'm just a head attached to Pee Wee Herman's head under this. Like if I took this off, it'd be a head and then a head. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good laugh. Good. That came out good. Uh, okay, we mentioned Far Cry Three Blood Dragon earlier. And I thought it's good that yeah, you mean Far Cry Three just picture background more mountainous. That's Far Cry Four. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I was gonna mention Far Cry Four got is officially announced, and oh. it's gonna be set in the Himalayas, and you can ride an elephant. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. that's what they said. That, they I, I wasn't it. kidding when I said it's Far Cry 3, but more bounce in the background. That's pretty much what it's going to be. You know what I want? I don't want to be on top of the elephant. I want to be duct taped to the bottom <laughs> of it. So I can just shoot can from shoot. the bottom of the elephant. You know, I want there to be a part where they have to trick uh, like a, a village. 
uh, they have to go into a village, so they trick it with an elephant. To, so the elephant goes in, and they're like, right. "Oh, it's just an elephant." Then you just like come out duct tape from the. No, elephant. you just flop it. You, you just come out from behind its ears. No, no, <laughs> no. The elephant just walks on the village, and you just dig holes and just put bombs in there, and just cover it back up. But you're on the belly of the yeah. elephant. There's like this is so shit. Duty no, shit no, we got, with, yeah. with an you got to do it simpler, more interesting. It's just you riding oh, an elephant. Not interesting. No, we got it's you riding an elephant, and there's like um, three herds of elephants behind. You, you just trample an entire village. No, <laughs> like, even, even though Far Cry 4 looks awesome, no, uh, it doesn't. Well, it's gonna okay. look stupid. But if it if you could ride an elephant in Bear Simulator, that'd be cool. If I can ride a bear, if I, if I a, a bear. you mean if the bear rides the, the elephant? elephant yeah. Oh my yeah. god! Uh, I'd be more impressed that you find an elephant and a bear in the same freaking continent. <laughs> Bear well, goes unless it's Australia, the bear goes anywhere. Unless you're in Australia, it's those damn bears drop go bears. Away, please. Well, Australia has the drop bears. Yeah, but bear. Valet. You got to be careful of trees because you never know when a bear's going to jump you out of a tree. You can't limit a bear's environment. Yeah, bear, bears. Anywhere. The bears in Australia have knives and they wait in trees, and as soon as you walk under bears, one, they just drop. We're in camo. <laughs> yeah, they were in camo. If you think you're safe on a mountain, they just bear avalanche down towards you. <laughs> it's, a bear, it's a bear avalanche. It's a bear just avalanche. a few thousand Courtesy bears rolling over each friends. other. <laughs> bears over there look like a. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger at the end of Predator, he's covered in like soot and freaking blood. <laughs> no, that's that's everything in Australia. Australia is the we will kill you. Yeah, well, Australia, they that have artif- the normal sized spiders in Australia are like maybe this one. I know, because all the animals there uh, still think Australia is a prison. Yeah. So they're still trying to kill everyone. <laughs> Jeez. That that's right. If you didn't know, Britain used used to use Australia as a giant fucking prison continent. History. If we didn't like you, we threw. Uh, if we didn't like you, we threw you there and left you to die. <laughs> so, like, what Australia was like Golden Saucers, like prison planet from basically. Trump I'm not even <laughs> kidding. When Australia was originally used <laughs> by Britain to throw all their prisoners in, because they didn't want to deal with them, so they just said, "Send them to fucking Australia. They'll oh, die there." Of, that's actually kind of awesome. Did you have a yeah. continent dedicated to just. Pretty much Arkham City. <laughs> I'm not even kidding when I say the animals there are there to kill you. The animals still think it's a prison. They still think it's their job to murder everyone. Awesome. Even the koalas. They get paid. <laughs> koalas get fucking scary. I've, have you ever seen a pissed koala? Yeah, no, it's fucking terrifying. It's like, go to a zoo and throw a rock at a koala. <laughs> <laughs> you get murdered. It, it falls out of katana. <laughs> it pulls out of katana. It pulls out of Uzi. No, you just, you just. No, it just stands there. It's like sees the rock go by. Just slowly puts on a bandana. Just looks at you. Just like you done fucked up. <laughs> and he just stares at you after saying that. And you just slowly walk away. You done fucked up. And then like five minutes later, oh. you've noticed your C4 strapped your leg and you blow up. Oh, <laughs> uh, bears. Bears. <laughs> Fucking drop bears. So now, now throw a rock at a bear and see what happens. <laughs> That's a real bear situation. Yeah. He doesn't care. The bear's just like serpentine. He just, he just goes. You throw a rock you. at a bear, the bear doesn't do anything. If you shoot a bear, the bear's like, you know, if you do that again, I <laughs> may kill you. <laughs> if you do that again, I may have to I may slaughter you. you and use you as a scarf. Exactly. <laughs> I may have to murder you. Oh, imagine bear simulator. You murder humans and, and make them rubs. Yo, no, 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 better yet, in Bear Simulator, simulator. you can sneak, simulator. you can sne- you can sneak up on hunters. If you sneak up on them, you can hit them in the back of the head, take their gun, and shoot them with their own gun. <laughs> yeah, and, just, like, <laughs> and the bear just murr, murr, and, and like blowing subtitles, it says "wreck we up." <laughs> <laughs> and then just the headshot, and it's just like some bear, weird bear kill cam comes on. And it's just, like, no, oh like, god, we say something different, like so wreck we up the rules of nature. <laughs> I'm trying uh, to think of another good line. Don't lose your way. <laughs> <laughs> there will be blood. <laughs> I'm sorry, senpai. <laughs> I'm sorry, senpai. <laughs> it's time to die, hunter senpai. No, I would like to, you played Far Cry 3, right? Yeah. Whenever you like stab someone, you could throw a knife at someone. Yeah, that's what the bear should do. It's bear so like, it's claws just, and just, launch and then out. throw a fucking knife. Yeah. At it. <laughs> and it has like a smiling kawaii bear face on. 
No, better yet, you just throw. You, you take your cups, you just throw your cups, and they latch on the guy's oh face. My, like the up, fucking face huggers from your, Alien. You pick up your adorable <laughs> case and throw it at another person, and it just mauls them to the ground. <laughs> Right. But like the it's bears, like, like I said, like the face the hunters from yeah. Aliens. Just <laughs> right, if the bear simulator guy is listening, we're giving oh, ideas. I, oh, you're yeah. giving you fuckers gold. Use it, <laughs> or at least make it Steam so Workshop what? so we can if, make this. If happen. they don't find this, or to make sure they find this, guys, send this part of the podcast. <laughs> this, there you go. This shit's genius. <laughs> this shit's genius. <laughs> <laughs> and also, there needs to be bear puns. <laughs> bear like, puns. Uh, I barely want to do this. <laughs> it, no, no, it's bear puns, but it all has to be like cut right from Persona Four, so it's all bear puns in Teddy's voice. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's there's a bunch of fetch qu- uh, fetch quests you have to do, and, and your bear goes, "This is this is bear barely fun." There you go. Bare- no, <laughs> this is barely fun. No, you, barely it's, fun. you just go. You just uh, your bear just goes. Very this is day. a very unfortunate day for you, and then just rips off the guy's arms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he always says. Burr, burr, burr. It's just sometimes. Yeah. 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 He's, 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 he's like a squadron of flying bears. Just, <laughs> bear force one. Bear force one. Bear force one. But it has flying to bears. <laughs> Bears. <laughs> but like they're chasing down another plane like this like because there's people and they're like we need to eat this <laughs> so, like that would have to be like a just like seven guys. bears on the ground arms wide just like trying to embrace the plane when it crashes there's like there's like certain bears that like pray to another bear god <laughs> and you can join that covenant <laughs> <laughs> no, I will no, you as a company. No, better, better yet, there, there, the there's, an enti- there's an entire there's an entire bear cult that just that just uh prays to uh, Theodore Roosevelt. <laughs> Teddy, so there's there's just the statues of Te- Theodore Roosevelt all over the place. Uh, I get it, Teddy. Uh, exactly, it'd be funny and make sense. It would be funny and historical. And Teddy, no, and one of one of the stat, no, and there's a cult for a uh, Teddy Ruxby. Oh, but it's like all like it's all. Have you? That's one thing. I don't know. Do you ever have History one when lessons. you're le- when you're younger? Teddy Ruxby. T- t- Teddy Ruxpin. You mean? Yeah, that creepy band. No, I never had one. But uh, uh the best thing I, I, I ever talk did. To you, I'll be like, fuck I, it, shut I up. Had, I had a lot of Legos as a kid. Yeah, I well, so did I. But I had one of those. I hated it except for one time, when I put in. Uh, I had a. It was a cassette. I think it was. Yes, it was uh, Iron. It was Iron Man by Black Sabbath. Coming out of that thing was one of the most in- <laughs> demonic things, things ever. No, oh, right. no, it was amazing. If you want demonic, you put Angel of Death in that thing, and it's just, oh dear God, what is happening? I want <laughs> also the soundtrack to the Bear Game has to be like a cross between Katamari Damacy and Hear Me Out, Man of War. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Do 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 rape murder and <laughs> no <laughs> no the whole, do, 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 no do, it, they do, do uh, the whole game is just one song but it's kings of metal and it's uh and it's repl- instead of kings of metal it's bears of slaughter bears of slaughter. <laughs> the bears of slaughter. or bears of murder there we go your bear and the bear works at a bear mill <laughs> <laughs> which is pretty much just a lumber mill but you put like but you put bear, but, you, but it's run by bears it's, but it's no, run it's, by bears it's no like, it's, it's, a, lo- it's a normal lumber, lumber mill it's just run by bears yeah. he, he wins all bear the bears, the bears every time all the bears walk around two feet and they have ties and like construction hats just in case so there's like a workplace accident <laughs> <laughs> Winnie the Pooh's in the game is the infeminate gay guy oh man, <laughs> man. Everyone always picks on him, and you can either choose to like befriend him. One of the quests is or, or straight or, up or eat him. One, of, one of the quests is you have to figure out who killed uh, Winnie the Pooh in a, in a hate crime. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, though, any quest given you by a human, you have to immediately kill the human because you're a fucking bear. You don't know English. <laughs> <laughs> so you automatically fail every quest. Yeah, like, yeah exactly. Like, it, it, that's the joke is that you fail it. Like, like so it's like you need to like go to, like Wolf Spider Cave to stop the evil resurrection of this deck. Yeah, no, it's. You see a letter and then you eat his face and you eat that person's face <laughs> no no it's just like a quest failed no it's you a- go there if you want to eat ghosts <laughs> <laughs> there, there's like, like a, you get a lot of ghosts. There's a letter from one of the quests, and then you just you read the letter, and then you put the letter down, and then it just says, 
quest complete because you would never finish this because what bear can fucking read English. <laughs> I would love if that's mandatory. Like it just automatically after you're done accepting your quest, the bear just like just murders. Murders. Tears <laughs> off all. There's, the there's a paragon system: murder and then slaughter, then murder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one no. slightly less murder. <laughs> you, you eat enough humans, you get to summon ghost human familiar to help in the battle. <laughs> And it, no, but they have to be like how you kill them, them, so it's like you got them running around, yeah. their heads barely attached. Exactly. One guy's hitting him with his arm, <laughs> literally. He has one, he grabs his missing arm and uses yeah. it as a club. Fucking, uh. He grabs his missing but found arm. <laughs> like, what's his name? Uh, Daniel Fortescue. Oh, so yes. Daniel Fortescue. Oh, man. <laughs> I, you know what? I think we should do a let's play of, In medieval. Of, of yes. medieval. That has to happen. Medieval. Shoddy. Because I love medieval. It's like one of my favorite games. Okay. To me that to me that was like a horror game as a kid, but I loved it. Because okay. it was just it was, it was just, awesome. It was just creepy. Except it was medieval? a pain in the ass. Medieval, yeah, with uh what's the fucking main character's Sir name? Daniel Sir, Ford. Sir Daniel, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You should it's, it's on Ford it's on uh, Vita. I played it a long time ago. Is it on Vita? Yeah, it's, yeah, uh, they, uh, they it's they Medieval really Resurrection. Made. It's it's a remake oh, of no, the no, it's no, the remake. That. that shit's awful. I mean, no, it's not. It's it's the it's uh more. It's an update of the uh, original game, but it only has one yeah. thumbstick. Yeah, hey, just play. Just we'll just play Medieval One or Two. Okay, not one or we're playing both, bitch. Yeah. You bitch. And then we'll have like an hour long video of us in PlayStation All Stars, but all four of us oh. are playing as Daniel Fortescue. <laughs> <laughs> and we're all doing. Wait, does he talk in that game? Yeah, he goes. All right, well, I'll just talk like that throughout the entire. They're like, I don't like, understand what the fuck you're saying, Sir Daniel Fortescue, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it sounds like you want revenge. And he's like, no. It, that's <laughs> that's how, you just hear it's like, it's just it's like, what do you think? <laughs> I completely agree. It's like what, what, what? Uh, he's, everyone totally gets what he says, though, except you. It's okay. <laughs> except the one person that matters, the yeah. bears. <laughs> the bears. The bears. If that ha if if you thought that that joke wasn't being made tonight, you you stupid. Well, it would have been made sooner, but we totally forgot about it till just yeah, now. We have to do that. Come on. Uh, it's not even a, the sad part is that it didn't start out as a joke. That just started off as, hey, I'm gonna have a catchphrase, and then hey, I sound like an asshole. <laughs> so what else uh, is on our list of things? <laughs> you have emails. the emails. Yeah. Emails. Let's go. Okay, this is from. I mean, he he says three. Oh my emails. God, Daisy with bears. Instead of zombies, bears. Yes. Humble bear. Humble bear. Humble bear. Yeah, humble bear. That's what we need. A humble, uh, humble bear. Humble, yeah, humble bear. That's humble bear, and it's a humble bundle with nothing but games featuring bears. <laughs> nice. nice. All, all right. right. So what is? What are these emails? Okay. Well, it's all from the same person. Please tell me it's all about bears. Let's, let's properly answer this, these. This is this is titled. Yeah, that's not it, happen. This is titled. It's Bag Boy, who who is a he's a guy on YouTube. Um. His real name is... I don't know if he wants me to say his real name, so I'll leave it out. Just say his first name. Jose. All right. Well, read some... Cro uh, cro wow. Wow, made it three words. Uh, read some creepy pastas in the dark. It would be funny to see you guys getting creeped out. Just look up top short creepy pastas. Okay. Oh, I actually like... So I like I like creepy pastas. I used to do that uh, with one of my friends. What the hell still is, like, are you creep, talking about? Creepy pastas? I have no idea what you're creep talking pastas about. Creepy are like disturbing stories you can find anywhere. Oh, was it like those... Uh, like like the, when we were ones? in like elementary school, they had the book in the library. And it was like a hundred and one... Like they had that whole ghost story series where it's like each one was like two, three pages. No, uh, not... Maybe. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'll right? read one real quick. This one's short. Okay. Better be good. A young girl... It's probably not. It's called <laughs> In the Kitchen. Uh, a young girl's playing in her bedroom when her... When her... Uh, a young girl is playing in her so bedroom free. when she hears her mother call to her from the kitchen. Oh, that. Yeah, then... Uh, yeah, she goes downstairs. The mother comes up and says, Did you call me? No, but I heard it too. Yeah, I know that. It's not that good. Was that it? So she runs yeah. downstairs to oh, meet her Oh, great. Mother. So you fucking ruined it. You gotta stop this shit. <laughs> As she's running... Oh... Uh, if you want, if you want, now I know what you're talking about. Uh, I didn't know it first. Right. No, if you want to know but a good the one, it's... it doesn't always entail that. Like, one of my favorite ones is, um... I can tell you what my favorite one is right off the top of my head. What? The last person, there was one person left alive in the world. There, there was, was a knock at the door. door. Yeah. Hooray, you were the first <laughs> person to ever tell me that one. Well, it's, <laughs> it's so simple. Well, it, I just like it because it's so simple. Yeah, but it's like, hooray. I, don't know, I like it, but there's, there's other good ones. <laughs> hooray, Here's like a better it. one. 
I went out with a girl. She's pregnant. Who's the father? <laughs> oh, Wait, that's a creepy. That's a creepy pasta. <laughs> that's terrifying. That's a creepy pasta. Because that's no matter scary. who's the father, you lose. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a there's one right here that has a picture of mayonnaise right next to it. So I'm gonna read this one. Do that one. <laughs> okay. Mm. There was a jar of mayonnaise that was eaten by a bear. <laughs> oh no, I'm so creeped out. Oh no, it says, okay, here here we go. Uh, a few years ago, a mother and father needed a break, so they headed out for a night on the town and called their most trusted babysitter. Oh, that's, there I see this. Really? Go back. Yeah, go for the babysitter story. When the babysitter arrived, the two children were already fast asleep in bed. The babysitter just got to sit around and make sure everything was okay with the children. Later that night, the babysitter called the parents and asked them if she could make some food. Of course, the parents said. The babysitter also had one final request. She asked if she could use the <laughs> the Hel Hellman's uh, mayonnaise. Hellman's mayonnaise, it's specific. Wow. The phone line was silent for a moment, and the father said, Take the children, get out of the house. We will call the police. We do not have Hellman's. <laughs> what? I I don't know. Creepy what the pasta. It's so creepy. It's so creepy. I don't fucking get it. Uh, I th I think it's more or less you caught uh, Gerard's reading disability <laughs> because no. I, it's not as scary because I didn't understand half of that because you're having no, trouble no. speaking. I understood it. I understood it. It I, just wasn't creepy. It was just no. we don't have mayonnaise. Yeah, it was just like what the fuck is happening. That's it. It's just, we don't buy mayonnaise. Why is we don't mayonnaise buy? Why is there mayonnaise in the house? So oh oh it's a, it's a comedy one. It's supposed to be it's supposed to be the mayonnaise as a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm a, I'm okay I get it now. All there's right. a, there's one of my favorite creepy pastas <laughs> is um before we go on to one of his other questions. Mm -hmm. We should do that another time though. Okay. We, yeah, we we'll do time. it on the next one. Just gather up. One of my favorite ones is is uh the guy who wants to be like like Finn from um. Adventure Time. So he killed Jeremy Shada, who was the voice actor of Finn. <laughs> and stuffed, him, stuffed him in a tree, and then and the kid <laughs> stuffed him in stuffed a him tree. Because Finn and Jake live in a tree, yeah. and then the kid who killed Jeremy Shada cut off his nose, and then and then hangs around this tree and goes on adventures, slaughtering people with his sword. <laughs> and, and you get and he's always in the forest, just like hanging out, talking to the dead body of Jeremy Shada <laughs> with, with a cut off nose. With just there's no nose on his face. I'm like that's creepy as shit. <laughs> Obscure. I like how the best part is he's just in the woods slurring people while talking to Jeremy Shada. Well, yeah, pretty much. No, dead Jeremy Shada. <laughs> dead Jeremy Shada. Dead mind Jeremy Shada. It's dead. not dead to him. Wait, is he actually dead? No. no. Okay. I, I don't know. Not yet. Jeremy Shada's alive. Not yet. Okay. okay. Not he's yet. actually like, he's like, like eight, six, seven. Adventure eight, Time's eight, gonna, well, he's gonna have some issues soon When though. he gets older, yeah. Well, not even well, that. Unless he's like a perfect voice actor. It's not even that. When that voice. Uh, next Monday's the 31st. Yes, yeah, so next Monday, Adult Swim starts at 8 o'clock, so Adventure Time's gonna have trouble because... Season 1's already over. Sorry, not season 1's wild. Wow. Like, their season 4 is already over. I know, but <laughs> when they have new season, it airs at, like, 8, 9 o'clock at night. Now there's gonna yeah. be, like, 3, 4 in the afternoon, so half the time everyone's gonna be at work or something when they air. Yeah, right, like, fucking school. Who cares? As long as yeah. we got to watch, like, Rick and Morty at 8 o'clock at night, this I'm is fine. The, this is the second question he sent. It just says review Goran Lagan first gore reviews it then yeah, uh, he he worded it weird uh, review Goran Lagan Goran Lagan Goran okay, Lagan whatever yeah. the fuck it's called Tengu Tapa Goran Lagan no we, we, we gotta say the Gurin. full name Tengu uh, Tapa Goran Lagan okay um, uh, review <laughs> GL I'll just call it that oh, you first gore he's saying I should review it first and then Jawad needs to that's how he spelt it uh, no actually he spelled it Gawad. All right, Gawad needs to review it second. Uh, I can say this. Gerard will say... No, let's do it in order. Chris, I refuse to watch it, Gerard. This is the most amazing anime in history. There you go. I didn't say that. I said I will review it. I, I will watch it. You as long as he plays The Walking Dead. Right. So if he, if he does, I will. That's nice. Sorry um, you heard that, guys. That was probably we're actually cool. We're actually doing this right next to a highway. Like so, yeah. Pretty much. Uh, no. There you go. <laughs> no. No, yeah. I won't review he, it. He hasn't watched it enough to want to review it. I he hasn't watched it at all. It. He <laughs> hasn't watched a clip of it. I know, I know there's a character in it called Yoko. 
right? Is that her name? Of course, he knows boobs. Well, no, he uh, knows. I know that one it. because he knows under boobs. <laughs> no, I, I know that one because Gerard's friend has a fucking fan site for that one character on Facebook. That's kind of creepy. And, uh, no, it's creepy. Um, I said that. No, no, I, I just wanted to hmm. reiterate. Yeah, no, I just want to confirm it. It worked for you. No, it's definitely creepy. Um, and I only know because of that of that one character because of that website or fan site, whatever the fuck it is. I don't know. So anyway, here's the third one. Tell me your she guys. She has a hamster that hangs out between her boobs. It's cool. Okay. It's funny. That's great. Um, I'm actually not kidding about that. There really is a hamster for some reason. No, not some reason. That for uh, obvious reason. reason. <laughs> for uh, yeah, for obvious reasons, loves to hang out in her chest. <laughs> You're selling me on this anime. <laughs> <laughs> nothing like uh, not, nothing like uh, underage thunder boob and uh, bestiality. <laughs> yeah, it's going good. Anyway. Uh, all right. <laughs> Tell me your guys' scariest experience with the paranormal or what you might thought was paranormal. Pretty really? much it. I, I mean, mean, that's a question. He, he, he has a lot of do scary shit on this podcast question. Okay. Um, right. Besides Gura Logan, that wasn't scary. Uh, you guys have there any? Was, there was one time where uh, I watched... Uh, I don't know what movie it was. No, it, it's not a paranormal thing, but I watched this movie... <laughs> When I was a kid, it was called Flesh Eating Mother Mothers. Cool, oh, that sounds awesome. It, it's a, it's exactly what you think. It, it's just mothers that, for some reason, just start eating their kids. Um, That's awesome. It's like rubber. And for like maybe a month, I was scared of my own mother. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> That's great. I thought she was gonna eat me. There's one shot in that movie that's awesome. Uh, I can't remember who it was. I think it was the father just coming home, mm -hmm. and <laughs> this woman's chowing down on something, and he's just like, "Oh, what are you eating there?" And she turns around, it's the kid's arm, and he has a he has a baseball mitt on, and it's just the kid's arm, and she's chowing down. And he's like, "Oh, oh my god!" I was just like, "Oh, well, okay." <laughs> if you watch it now, it'll be the dumb. Yeah, it's like, "Oh, uh, okay, mom." Oh, oh, wait, wait. Dad! Dad! This is serious going on! Dad, kill mom! <laughs> Dad, Please. shoot her right in her dumb face. <laughs> Do you have something good? Uh, well, I've been to a couple of places, like Key West, Williamsburg, Gettysburg, that just, stuff, just known for that stuff. One. Well, if you want to know genuine creepy, I've gone, I don't know why I keep going back, but I've gone to uh, King's Park. Uh, oh, well, King's Park. Yeah, I've gone there like three times, and I don't know why I keep going back. That place has scared me once, and I was already. I actually, I probably keep going back because I used to play the golf course right there. Mm. Uh, is this a creepy place? I guess it, it's creepy. It, well, the big thing is no one can really confirm if it's haunted or not, because chances are, if you are there, there's probably two or three other groups of people that are also there. Yeah. So most of the time, you're like, you hear stuff, you're freaking out, and then all of a sudden, you're screaming, and then that group's screaming, and everyone's just like, what the yeah. fuck are we screaming? What? Yeah, I'm just looking at pictures of King's Park. I, yeah, I, King's I, Park, it's like, uh... It's, it's a, it wasn't it's, a, it was a crazy house? I was it wouldn't say or? crazy house, I'd say more of a mental institution, yeah. but... Same thing. It, it was, it was actually, more, I think it was a psychiatric hospital, okay. officially. It, it started out as a mental institution... Then became a psychiatric hospital and then uh, shut down. If you go inside, it's probably really nice. No, God, no. 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 It's terrible. Well, wait, how many floors did you go up? I, I've gone through the. Uh, I haven't. I, there's no way in hell I'm going downstairs in there. Oh, I've been that's probably first. where it's really fun. Yeah. You should go down there next time. I've Fuck only, no. I've only been like, Fuck like, no. I've only been like. like around the entrance because a lot of the floor is rotted and shit, so it's hard to get around. But I, I tend to like just be around the entrance. But yeah, I'm done here. Because <laughs> it's not even like, oh, we emptied everything out. A lot of the beds and stuff are still there. It's just like, it, it, even, honestly, I don't think you can ever confirm if it's haunted or not. Because it's just too creepy to stay in there for a long period of time. You know what we need to do? It, <laughs> honestly, it looks like the, give me, it looks like something right out of Outlast. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. We should get a it does. Uh, it's a, just a like camcorder a, with, a, uh, with a night vision. Uh, thing in it, and we just go into that yeah, building. Yeah, I do it. Like I I'm said, not gonna do it. You guys, I, do I'm it. not doing it. I'll do it. You just record a bunch of shit. And I'll you can go in by yourself. I'll, dra I'll <laughs> drag you two with me. Like I said, I've been in. Like I said, nothing scary ever happens in there. It's, uh, most of the time, if you get freaked out, it's because other people are there, and you're all just being idiots. Yeah, true. So you're just allowed to go in whenever you want. Oh, you're not allowed in, but they, no one really ever oh, stops okay. you. Oh. Like if if you get like, here's what will happen if you're in there. The cops notice. Oh, well, you're trespassing. Don't do it anymore. All right, bye, and you leave. 
It's not yeah. like they're going to arrest you for going in there. I mean, it's common knowledge people are always going in there. So they'll just, unless you're doing stupid stuff, they'll just let you off with a warning. Yeah. Which is most likely what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Stupid shit. Yeah. We, but we can't do it during Halloween because then there's like, <laughs> there's practically a line of people getting in every day leading yeah. up to that. Yeah. You got one? Um, as like a little baby. Yeah, sure. I had one where I would I went up to my mom, and said, um, and said, "Is it okay if I play with the, um, with with Grandpa, who my Grandpa that I was like was like dead way before I was born?" Okay. And mom was like, "What do you mean?" And I described exactly what he looks like. So, and then when we went there, nothing was there. But apparently, I saw, talked, and hung out with a ghost. <laughs> As a That's baby, cool. also as a baby, I used yeah. to think that uh, my Rocky horse would always move on its own, as well as um, I still run the one if I had a Darth Vader thing that uh, would rotate on its own all the time. Oh. When I would take batteries out as a kid, I'm like, I don't want to deal with that shit. It would still move <laughs> on its own. So I used to have force. That I, and then I moved yeah. out of that house. <laughs> I moved the fuck I, out I, of that house. I more or less ignore it, but I, every now and then I have stuff, like pretty much every night for no apparent reason between 3.40 and 3.45 a.m. There are like three knocks at my door every morning. Oh, man. I don't know. Like I said, I just ignored it at this point Which because it's like, it's creepy <laughs> at first and it's scary. But then after a couple of weeks of it, it's just like, all right, well, you're if there's someone out there, fuck you because I don't give a shit after four years of this. <laughs> but I, the, I think the best one is I actually got in. I know this is gonna sound weird, but there was a. I think it was Williamsburg. I was at. There was a, one of the hotels was haunted. I and you gotta hear the whole thing to understand it. But I got in a fight with a ghost because one they had a ghost there, but it was like I guess I think they said it was like a kid, a little kid. So it was just like mess. But it was like a, it was a kid and so, like a maid or something. So it's like. It just a little mischief, but like sometimes they you leave the room, then go to the bathroom and come back, and like the bed's made, so it was like some weird stuff. But then one of the nights, um, I I was sleeping. It's like four a.m. The light comes on, so I go shut off the light, climb to bed. Light gets on, and do that three or four times. Then I hit the turn off the light and stand there, and watch the light switch switch itself on. And I'm, I kid you not, for the next five minutes, I am hitting the light switch off, and apparently, I guess, a ghost is switching. I'm watching the switch flip back on, and I'm just there for five minutes. <laughs> and eventually, I just went, fuck this, and went to sleep with the lights on. <laughs> fuck it. He, he turned it off. He's like, oh. Yeah, he's like, god damn it. He went up to turn it back on. It's, just, it's like a, a Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck. Yeah. Duck season, wabbit season. Basically, that's, Duck that's pretty much what I pulled, and it, it seemed to work. I, but my, it's like me and my mom get a lot of that stuff. <laughs> my, me and my mom both have a lot of that stuff. My, my mom talked to her grandmother on a f disconnected phone that had a dead battery. Which Whoa. is a little weird, but it was also weird considering that three days before is when her grandmother died. I think Rick did that too from Walking Dead. Awesome. Wait, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> well, no, he wasn't talking about but like legitimately like she picked up the phone was it like not even rang or anything she just heard something on the phone it's like okay this is weird yeah then again my mom also had a pet squirrel so who knows what was up with her a pet squirrel i'm not kidding she had a pet squirrel oh uh, you met my mom she's she's nice but freaking insane yeah <laughs> i agree anyway she's real insane all uh, the insanity. <laughs> so that's 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 our creepy story. Was that all? Th was that all three questions? Yeah, yeah that, that was, was it. Oh. That's all three. All right. Do we uh, have anything else? Well, uh, no, not really. Actually, I think that's pretty much. How it. long have we been going for? About an hour. Yeah, about an hour. Fuck it. Okay, cool. Well, that's, well, that seems about right. Did you want to quickly discuss uh, our points on uh, Dark Souls Two? Well, we could do, probably do it next time. Uh, well, do you want? It will probably be a long time just talking about that game. Yeah, so, I, I have I have a lot to discuss. Well, about since that. I have yeah, these, yeah. do you want to go through what some of the fucking uh, reviews people put up for uh, Daisy? Sure. Yeah, let's read. Let's, let's read, read like a few good ones. A few Daisy reviews. To give you an idea, the reason I did this that's is because cool. I read them off. I think it was when we did the first gore cast. I read them off. And we were just, like, we were getting, just getting, we just finished recording something, so we were all just moving over to play Cards Against Humanity. Mac goes in the bathroom, I'm reading these off, 
and we're in tears because we hear Matt laughing hysterically at these reviews while on the fucking toilet. It was the best. <laughs> and it was just so, it was so <laughs> awkward but so funny because we hear you just laughing hysterically. It was the funniest shit ever. Wait, uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> My boy. Uh, so let's see. I've got a big list of them. Uh, you either die a hiker or you live long enough to see yourself become a serial killer murdering hikers. <laughs> ten, uh, ten out of ten. Spend half an hour role playing as a train running along the rail railways of south, uh, southern Cherna. Ten out of ten. Uh, <laughs> Got bored with my monotonous existence as a trade. Tried to kill himself by ju- uh, by jumping off a cliff. <laughs> That's it. Jumped off a cliff. Didn't die. Broke both uh, broke both legs. Spent the next ten minutes crawling to the top of the cliff to crawl over the edge again. <laughs> ten out of ten. Best twenty dollars someone ever spent. Awesome. Uh, the only game where a uh, half naked dude runs at you, young Leroy Jenkins, and knocks you unconscious with a baseball bat and steals all your loot. 11 out of 10 would play again. Uh, Force the man to eat a rotten banana and he died. 10 out of 10. This, this one fucking killed us all last time. Walked into a room on a night server in which two guys with no pants proceeded to beat me over the head with shovels chanting tribal chants 11 out of 10. <laughs> Uh, like normal Russia, but with zombies. Like normal Russia, but with zombies. <laughs> I got chased by a guy in his underwear for miles as he was screaming, asking about me about my wiener. <laughs> Ask me about, Ask about my, my wiener! wiener. <laughs> I got stuck in a wall and died. 11 out of 10 will defeat wall next time. Just wait and see. A uh, starving naked man beat me... Uh, Made me beat him to death with a crowbar. <laughs> Made me beat him to death. <laughs> this, this one is so. Chooses. This one is so glorious. Killed a French man who didn't retreat. Only in Daisy. Ten out of ten. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> raided a military base and then got some great gear. Then I accidentally drank bleach and died. Ten out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to wear pants, 11 out of 10. You don't have to wear pants. <laughs> Lagged on the roof, died. Ate a rotten apple, died. Guy said he was friendly, died. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Spawned in someone and died. 10 out of 10 would spawn again. These are freaking, these are fucking great. Uh... <laughs> So a guy put up his middle finger to me, so I chased after him and axed him in the face. Ten out of ten. <laughs> uh, <laughs> dressed up like a lumberjack, found an axe, killed people. Best cosplay uh, serial killer simulator ever. <laughs> Eleven out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> cosplay serial killer simulator. Uh, pushed my boyfriend off the edge of a high building. He died. I stole all of his loot. Ten out of ten. <laughs> 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 Uh, we uh, we are going to find you, and we're going to make you drink disinfectant. <laughs> we're going to find you, and we're going to make you drink disinfectant. <laughs> my God! I ran around in my underwear, chasing a dude with an axe because he said my undies were stained. Ten out of ten. <laughs> Got, got handcuffed by a group of five males, forced to take off my trousers, eat a rotten kiwi, and attempt self fellatio <laughs> then got shot. Ten out of ten. <laughs> that Can you itself. do that in that game? Well, he attempted to. Self fellatio, I hope so. Uh, dear God. You got uh, it. You got it. <laughs> I found a nude man in the hospital. He, he handcuffed me and punched me to death while performing some kind of satanic ritual. <laughs> 11 out of 10. Uh, we actually, no, we all we, need a computer to play this game. I have we one. We all really do. No, me and you can do yeah. it. Yeah. You, you fucking You and Gerard. Yeah. Rabbits make zombie noises. 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> Tried fighting fire with a fire extinguisher. Apparently you can't fight a fire by punching it. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Learn something new every day. <laughs> I found spaghetti. That's it. That's the whole of you. Just, I found spaghetti. There's another one. I eat. You eat spaghetti one strand at a time. Eleven out of ten. <laughs> Human nature simulator 2014. Uh, backpack opening simulator 2014. Uh, oh, this one is dark. Uh, the only game where you can handcuff a woman at gunpoint, get her to strip, and give. Uh, 
and give you your her possessions, force feed her rotten fruit, and then break her legs and leave her to die. Oh. This alpha is off to a great start. Hey, <laughs> uh, dead <laughs> Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, fuck you, vagina bombs. <laughs> I never knew how many rotten kiwis existed until I played this game. Uh, you don't get a one. You don't get arrested for not wearing pants. Not like that time in kindergarten. Two, feel like a hobo or any other Eastern European as you fight off the last fight for the last can of beads and then die from starvation while opening it. <laughs> Three, this is all one thing. Three, the game will support Oculus Rift and other accessories via mods. Best way to prepare for a true apocalypse by learning to run like an Olympic sportsman. Get fit. <laughs> and number four, second best tool after Dota Rush 2. Cheese. Wait, this is the best one. Second best tool after Dota 2 for learning Russian. You will learn it and you will regret it. <laughs> 10 out of 10, best moment of my non existing life. <laughs> uh, oh, let's see, God. I'm almost done with it. Uh, worst dating sim ever. Worst dating sim ever. <laughs> oh, this one is so bad, but so. Ugh, I'll say it. This game offers a very realistic depiction of Detroit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Best true. walking simulator ever. Sorry, Detroit fans. <laughs> <laughs> this is better than the time I had a two hour fapping marathon, 11 out of 10. I looked at battery, it tasted fully charged. I looked at battery, now I am blind. <laughs> Uh, got stripped, dude. Got a banana shoved in my mouth. Had a stroke. Got killed off for the bean. <laughs> Seventy out of nine. Seventy <laughs> out of nine. That's what it says. Man, what is score record? <laughs> How do I walk? <laughs> That's just the question. <laughs> A man without pants attacked me and broke my legs. Then he mugged me of my pants and ran away. I don't understand the motivation. He didn't even wear them. Uh, <laughs> I still don't get this Two one. <laughs> I climbed up a ladder. Wait, wait. This one is amazing. I climbed up a ladder, but I broke my back because I realized I didn't have any legs. Ten out of ten. <laughs> I didn't even get that. <laughs> <laughs> you have no legs. Oh god! No legs. That realization, your back just snaps in half. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Got lost in a forest for an hour. Finally found a road. Then a guy mugged me, took all my stuff, handcuffed me, and made me go back into the woods. One hundred out of ten. <laughs> uh oh. Let's see. Oh my god, this one is glorious. While I was role playing as a train on the tracks, an individual in their underwear ran up to me shouting Fus Rota. They keep my skull in with an axe, screaming train soul absorbed to ten out of ten. Would play again, but we'll avoid Dovahkiin in the future. <laughs> we'll avoid Dovahkiin. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, stole pants from people, made them sing to get them back. Pants out of ten. Pants out of ten. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh... Oh my god. So apparently when you when we play this game, we have to not wear pants. Because we, we will be hunted yeah. down for our pants. The, if uh, we don't have pants, then we become the hunters. <laughs> uh, my very first uh, contact with a human was me running away from a guy wearing nothing but a bright red coat, wielding and swinging an axe while singing out loud how, his, how small his magical penis is. It was both the funniest and strangely most intense moment of my gaming <laughs> life. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Drinks water, 10 seconds later, I'm thirsty, 10 out of 10. <laughs> Much like Dota, it is primarily Russian and you have no idea what is going on at any time. A guy with a cowboy hat begged me not to shoot him, now I have a cowboy hat. He just doesn't, he doesn't say he did it, but no, he said he did it. <laughs> uh, got handcuffed, forced to do naughty things to a corpse, escaped. Found again, handcuffed yet again, forced to dance for my abductors. Heard of zombies come to my rescue. Zombies chase off abduct abductors. I go to high five my heroes, get eaten alive, 10 out of 10 would buy. <laughs> Got a Bible and started chasing people around, praising the Lord. This game is too good. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> I spawned 50 feet from another guy. He waved at me. I waved back. He asked if I had a weapon. I said no. <laughs> he gave me a fire extinguisher. I beat him to death with it and took his shoes. <laughs> Much of me is such wow, many death. Oh, it's <laughs> fucking dodge. Fucking doge. Doge. Uh... One time I ran into my friend so fast that I broke his legs. I love this game so much. <laughs> <laughs> he, he ran into his friend so fast that broke, broke his legs. legs. No, it broke his friend's legs. He was fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Just like his legs broke up. <laughs> this, this, uh, this game, man, this game is giving me a goddamn boner. <laughs> I killed a man for yelling friendly at me. No one yells at me while I'm shooting them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 no yells at me for shooting. <laughs> what a, what a badass <laughs> they got. The, the only game in which you can beat a 13 year old to death because he talked rudely about your mother. 11 out of 10. Uh, oh, God. One hour into the game, I stopped wearing clothes to pray on the uh, to pray on their fear, move like an animal to feel the kill. Fell through uh, fell through a flo uh, floor and died. Ten out of ten. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> Logged in and went to a town named Electro that was chased by a naked man with a rifle shouting, "Hey boys!" while shooting rounds into the air. Ten out of ten would play again. <laughs> nice. Killed the man for a can opener. He didn't have a can opener. Eleven out of ten. <laughs> he didn't have a can opener. I love can openers like the big thing. Yeah. In the <laughs> Handcuffed the guy, told him to crouch and to read the Bible out loud. While he did, I injected him with the wrong blood type and made him die slowly. <laughs> May the power of Christ compel you. Ten out of ten would do it again. The power of Christ compel you. <laughs> the only game I played where it's widely acceptable for men. Wait, I already. Yeah, I read that one. Okay. I had Leroy Jacobson twice. My mom keeps asking me why I yell friendly. Ten out of rotten kiwi. <laughs> Ten out of rotten uh, <laughs> A group of five males handcuffed me to a post telling me to sing a Disney song or they'll force me to be a rotten banana. <laughs> Eleven out of ten. Best game ever. <laughs> <laughs> genuinely, not, not gen wondering what song it was. Genuinely let it had go. a Russian yeah, man run up. Let it go. This, genuinely had a Russian man run up to me screaming in Russian. He knocked me out, and once I recovered, he had made a circle of rotten bananas around me. It deserves game of the year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, every goddamn house in the civilized world has a can opener, but apparently, as the first sign of a zombie outbreak, they all fucked off back to their home planet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Me and two friends got beat to death by a crazed black woman with a shovel. 11 out of 10. <laughs> got handcuffed by an Asian woman and she took my clothes. 10 out of 10. <laughs> uh, just about done. Let's see. Uh, yeah, two more. Yeah. Went around in a yellow raincoat with a lantern converting people to the light of Christ. 10 out of 10 would convert again. Would <laughs> convert again. Zombies walk through walls, 10 out of 10. <laughs> and the last one is just so freaking great. A guy walked into the house uh, we were looting with no pants on and said, Did someone order pi uh, pizza? 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> I have to look through. I have to find more of these. Those are fucking great. Those, Those are great. actual reviews. It's a good way to end the podcast. Uh, right. Well, I hope you enjoy If anyone everything. read, like, if anyone's, like, not hysterical from half of those. Yeah. Like, another one was, like, oh, I was, I didn't have it on here. It was, like, oh, I was sitting on a toilet and a zombie came and raped me. I was on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10 would shit again. <laughs> <laughs> so, there you go. That was the podcast. There we go. And, and it with some Steam reviews for Daisy. Yeah, uh, buddy. I got, uh, we had, we had fun. <laughs> I got, I got we fun. We fun. did. Yeah. I don't know about everyone else. Togas whistles blowing. That's now what we, we must be going. <laughs> oh, God. No more Russell Crowe <laughs> for you. Fight your own the world. Making movies, making songs, and fighting around the world. <laughs>